Welcome back to Learner's Haven, a fun place where you can learn. Last video, we discussed the first basic mathematical operation, which is the addition. This time, we're going to learn about subtraction. So, let's begin. Subtraction is the process of taking one number away from another. So, technically, subtraction is the exact opposite of addition. There are different terms that we can use in subtraction, such as minus, less, difference, decrease, take away, and deduct. Subtraction is represented by minus sign. Ah! Subtraction sentence is composed of the following. Minuend, or the number that is to be subtracted from, Subtrahend, or the number that is to be subtracted, and difference, or the number that we get when we subtract. In subtraction sentence 31 minus 16 is equal to 15, our minuend is 31. 16 is our subtrahend, while 15 is our difference. We need to take note, learners, that minuend and subtrahend cannot be interchanged because doing so will give you different answers. Just like in our example below, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Interchanging 12 and 5 will give us negative 7. Ah! After going through the basic facts about the subtraction, Let's now have a closer look on how to subtract single-digit numbers. That's a good idea! In solving a subtraction, we can do it manually or we can use a subtraction table. This, learners, is what we call a subtraction table. What is this used for? This is used to get an answer for some basic subtraction equations. The numbers in the first column will represent the minuend, while the numbers in the first row will serve as a subtrahend. Let's try to use it. For our first example, let's subtract 8 from 10. Let's find 10 from the first column and look for 8 in the first row. Now, let's draw the lines. In which number does the two lines intersect? Two. You're right. Yay! So, our answer in 10 minus 8 is 2. Let's have another example. 5 minus 1. Again, let's look for 5 and 1. Remember to look for it in the right place. Then, draw the lines. It would give us 4. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. You're doing great, learners! Let's try another one. 9 minus 3 is equal to... Let's find 9 in the first column and 3 in the first row. Then, draw the lines. And it would lead us to... 6. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. Excellent! This time, we're going to solve it manually. Our first given is 5 minus 2. We have 5 cats here. All we have to do is to take away 2 cats. It would give us 1, 2, 3. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Well done! Our next item is 7 minus 3. We have 7. Then, we need to take away 3. How many tigers will remain? Let's count on. 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. That's the way. For our third item, 
we need to solve 9 minus 3. From 9, let's count 3 steps backward. 8, 7, 6. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. Good job! This time, it's 4 minus 1. So from 4, let's count one step backward. 3. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Marvelous! Yay! Let's now proceed with subtracting multiple digit numbers that do not need regrouping. That's a good idea! In subtracting multiple digit numbers, the first step that we need to do is to list down the givens into columns, just like in addition. We need to make sure that we align it according to the place value of each digit, and that we do not interchange the minuend and the subtrahend. Uh -huh. We can now start solving. Start subtracting with the ones place, going to the left. For this given, we will start with 5 and 4, since those are the digits that sit in the ones place. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Let's put the answer under 1's place. And then let's proceed with the 10's place, which is 2 minus 1. That would give us 1. 25 minus 14 is equal to 11. For our second example, we need to subtract 17 from 49. Again, let's start with the 1's place. From 9, we need to take away 7. That would give us 1, 2. Next, we need to take away 1 from 4. Let's count on. 1, 2, 3. 49 minus 17 is equal to 32. Good job! For our third example, 196 minus 21. We will start with 6 minus 1. And then, let's count on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's proceed with the tens place. 9 minus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, let's just bring down 1. 196 minus 21 would give us 175. We're doing great, learners! This time, let's do subtraction of multiple digit numbers with regrouping. What is regrouping? Regrouping is the method of exchanging one tens into ten ones. It is also called borrowing. Regrouping is used when the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. Uh -huh. But how do we do regrouping in subtracting numbers? Here's how. Just like in subtracting without regrouping, we will list down the givens into columns. Make sure to align it according to the place value of each digit. We will start solving in the ones place. In our given 51 minus 23, we will start with 1 and 3. Since 1 is smaller than 3, we need to regroup. We're going to borrow 10 from the 10's place and write the new number on the top. Let's borrow from 5. That would turn 5 into 4. Let's give the 10 to the digit in our 1's place. So, it would turn 1 into 11. Now that our given is regrouped already, we can start subtracting. 11 minus 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight. Next, four minus two is equal to one, two. Fifty one minus twenty three is equal to twenty eight. Let's have another example. One hundred twenty two minus sixteen. We will start with two minus six. Can we proceed with the subtracting? No, we need to borrow from tens place. You're right. So, let's borrow from two. That would give us twelve. Twelve minus six is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. For the tens place, it's one minus one. Do we need to borrow again? No, there's no need. One minus one is equal to zero. Then let's just bring down one. One hundred twenty-two minus sixteen is equal to one hundred six. Excellent. That's all for this video, learners. On our next video, we will talk about the third basic mathematical operation, which is multiplication. <laughs> but before we end up, just a friendly reminder, never look at your flaws as a weakness. Instead, always consider it as an opportunity to grow and learn new things. Thank you, learners! Please like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and classmates. And kindly hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we upload new videos. Also, if you have a topic that you want us to discuss, just comment down under the discussion tab or follow us on our Facebook fan page at It's Learners Haven Official. And we will be more than willing to create a video for you. See you next time, learners! Ooh.